Now back to South Bend, day 15 of the Richmond Hill trial has been about placing Mark Ray Leonard at the heart of a deadly scheme. Today, his former girlfriend was there on the witness stand detailing several plots to burn down her home. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez stationed in South Bend joins us live there with the very latest scene. Uh, Jason and Candace, good afternoon. This remains a very developing story right now. The courtroom under a break. Monserrati surely has been on the stand for more than five hours. Now she's undergoing some cross-examination. My colleague, digital correspondent Jordan Fisher. Jordan, you just left the courtroom. What's going on down there and what called for the break? Uh, the defense is doing everything they can to poke holes in Monserrati's testimony, particularly focusing on a key admission she says Mark Leonard made to her following the explosion. I know they're also talking about all the media interviews that she gave right after the Explosion. Will they, you think, will they play those videos today? It, it looks like right after the break, we're going to see that interview she did with the media uh, that Mark Leonard was not present for. He ran away saying he thought it would look bad because of his past. Jordan Fisher, make sure you watch his blog, read his blog on the 80channel.com. Jordan, thank you so much. Should point out that, as you may recall, there were at least three attempts to set the home on fire. One was successful. But in all the attempts, both Monserrati Shirley and Mark Ray Leonard had an apparent checklist which involved three C's. A casino, their child, and the cat. Monserrati Shirley began to cry the moment she was asked to talk about her next door neighbors, especially Dion and Jennifer Longworth, who were killed in the explosion. She also became emotional when she explained how she prepared for the first fire at her home. She testified that Mark Ray Leonard told her to find a babysitter for her daughter, to put the family white Persian cat Snowball in a kennel, and to remove sentimental items like family pictures from the house to protect them from the pending fire. Leonard had a former employee use his white van to transport their stuff to a friend's home. This is the same white van that witnesses say they saw outside of Monserrati's home hours before the explosion in November 2012. Uh, that third C, of course, is the Hollywood Casino in Lawrenceburg. The couple went there every time during all of those attempts. I should also point out that tears, tears became an issue during the courtroom. I'll have that part of the story on the News at 5. I'll also have the very latest on what uh, may be a more uh, interesting part of this case, of which involves the immediate interview that may or may not be played in just a few minutes behind me. We're live in South Bend. Rafael Sanchez, now back to you. Thank you for all your hard work, Rafael.